all right guys welcome back to another video uh got to do chapter seven now uh grand booth fantasy relink hope you're enjoying if you watch the other ones hope you enjoyed them so far uh, if you're not only you, if this is the first one you've watched of this grand brew uh if you want to watch some of the previous chapters just check out my channel um they're all you know uh named like in chapter in in order so quite easy to follow if you want to watch some of the previous uh previous um videos yeah if you want to you know if you're enjoying it you know leave us a like if you want to um subscribe to the channel if you want to as well uh it's up to you end of the day uh, i do appreciate it if you do so anyway let's uh let's, let's waffling on and uh rack on shall we so yeah here we go Chapter 7 Yeah, I broke the last one into two parts because it's quite a long uh, long chapter so hopefully I could get this all in done in one, one it but we'll see shall we so let's go Excuse me, and, uh, hey, what can I help you buy? head over here to get on to the uh, resume main store that's what we do Yeah, it's just chat. a matter of time before we get our Lyria back. With the catalyst in our hands, we board the Grand Cipher to go after Avia again. Next stop is Fondum. Just a short hop step and a flight away. It's been roped off as a danger zone, which, yeah, isn't ominous at all. The church is headed there for one thing. Yet another altar housing a primeval god. All of Zega Grande's gods or, I guess, primal beasts, are a force to reckon with. But we can't let Avia keep exploiting Lyria's power. If they force her to commit atrocities, once this is all over, she'll never forgive herself. Warning sign. Looks a bit of a volcanic uh, island. Thick this black is. smoke blankets the sky. Rivers of fire flow below. Yeah, pretty much the perfect stage for a fateful showdown. Well, here's to hoping we make it out in one piece. There, we're moored. Red ships shouldn't see us from here. We'll hit him before they know what's coming. I'm not the only one who saw that big-ass fire geyser, right? No, we all saw it. Only a primal could pull that off. And it's clear that's where they've taken Illyria. Prepare for take... <laughs> what now? I believe it means the volcano is close to erupting. How are you so calm? Lava is not how I want to go out. And what about the Grand Cipher? But we have to get to Lyria. You're preaching to the choir. Of course I want to go rescue her, but I just... Ah. I saw how they handled Excavalion. They could be my best bet going forward. But we'll be stranded here if we lose the ship. All right. I'll take the helm and fly the ship to safety. Once the area stabilizes, I'll come back to pick you guys up. You all go on ahead. Sorry for the trouble, Roland. Sure you don't mind? Not at all. Besides, since when has Mr. Fixit ever let you down? Ah, uh, before I go. Vern, do you mind showing me the catalyst? Wait, right now? Um, sure. No problem. There, I've activated it. Hold it near Lyria, and it should release the lock on the collar. And that'll give us a fighting chance. Thanks, Fixit, dude. Hmm. Time to part ways for now. Danger lurks around every corner in this place, so proceed with caution. Don't worry about us. You just focus on keeping the Grand Cipher safe. Come on, everyone. We need to hurry. A 
I'm sorry, Skyfarers. Lilith was my responsibility. We'll share some apples when you come home, Lyria. Yeah, being a volcanic island, as I said, uh, I think some of the enemies might be. Uh, I don't know, maybe some like ice powers and stuff like that as a weakness. Hey! But uh, I haven't really set that up, so. <laughs> Probably make the bosses easier by doing the settings. So to, uh, Magma, huh? the ice powers and stuff. But Fall we'll in and it's it, goodbye so. world. No one survived from that. Hey, you guys notice anything different about Bolin? Not really. I mean, I guess he seems kind of tired. He's helped us out of more jams than I can count. Let's get him something nice once this is over. A lot of Lyria's Giano. Archives. The boy. That's the one we've just picked up. Scorch memo. I keep looking at that. <laughs> Looking around the chest. And... Ooh, shiny. Might be worth something. Let's do this. I missed. The camera, the camera went Better dodgy then. Time. I don't know why the camera would move around when I was just jumping. Oh, I'm gonna leave that one. I ain't too bothered about chest of here though. What's this? I can come back Wait. and replay of them. I want it. Yeah, just as I jumped off there, uh, the camera decided to swing around automatically. I don't know why I've done that. There's a save. Yeah, we're gonna leave that where I went to all the shards. So. Save it just to be on the uh, save side. Uh, just notice this up here, this little uh, chest. Nice find. I can feel it. Primal beast is nearby. Fighting that primal beast. Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is he's the reason Lyria's here in the first place. Crap! Volcano's getting ready to blow! Oh no! The crowd is sinking into the magma! Can't do anything about it! Just run for your life! Don't look back! Just 
stay out of this. Batman, you know, we're the thorn in your side that won't come out. I'm on my way, Miria. This catalyst is gonna fix you right up. Wait, Burn. Don't go rushing in. If the catalyst gets broken, we'll lose everything. We need to stop it from crashing around. I'll tell you when it's your turn, Burn. No escape. Right behind you! Work together and we'll make it through! I have a question. Why has not time of beast imprisoned Lyria? Since you're fighting it, I'm going to assume it wasn't acting on the This has nothing to do with you. You little now I'm ready. Punk. If anything happens to her. Stop! We're not finished with you! Hey, where does that worm think it's going? I'll hunt you down. Ugh, we were so close! Come on, we have to chase it again! Uh, this volcano isn't gonna blow anytime soon, right? That primal looks quite similar to Bahamut. Is that why it was able to imprison Lyria? I should take it a dip in the mag. Oh, yes. It's a it magma is. wave! It yes, swallowed well, my rat literally more than a nasty bird! Get to the cover of that outcropping! It's our only chance! Grateful or terrified? Both, I guess. That's our cue! Keep it up, guys! Why is he going that far? Could he really be trying to save Lyria? I mean, even if he does, he'll just take her away again, and we're back to square one. My thoughts exactly. Can't let him do that. It looks like they've come to an impasse. <laughs> now we can join the party. Uh, Another wave is rough. coming! because it knows the catalyst worked. Our next encounter will be its last. You know it. Yeah. I'm going to give Larry a the whip. Oh, come on, you're going to be trying. Save that to be, uh... 
located. Catastrophe averted. Muhammad saved. We barely stopped that ticking time bomb. The barrier has regenerated. Everyone, you know the drill. This is job for first. Just give the word. Um, I... Here we go, Bert. We're gonna stun this brute. Gotcha. Standing by. You three are so. Now, Bert. and misery make fools of us all. Here I see a troop of puppets flouncing about in a play with no audience. And your bond with the shaman? It's threadbare. Little more than a thin line of hope. Fear not. Entrust me with your strings. 
and I shall deliver salvation unto you all. I know this is much too sudden for you to comprehend. But don't struggle. Embrace it. Hit him, fool! Face your judgment! How nice of obvious leader to come lead us to his own. Saved us the trouble of tracking you down. My dear, I'm not your I've come to extol the virtue of salvation. Oh, damn. I can still get me off. He's brimming with power. I'm afraid to even get close to her. Too hot to handle. Your unbelievable mana. There's that black aura coming off of her. Bow your head. The ordeal of our pilgrimage is at an end. Your crew is largely to be Acknowledge my vision. And salvation shall come. Isn't it obvious that I am shepherding all to a transcendent future? We don't need your phony baloney philosophy. As skyfarers, we put our faith in a free sky. You is run from the salvation to be born. The time has come to pen a new chapter in this saga. This has been a long journey, but a fruitful one. Now, to open the gate and bask in the light of paradise. Stop! What are you doing? No, we'll all be... Oh. That, that looks like it's supposed to do that. Why must you reject salvation? Do you not see that it is the perfect course? You dare defy me to the end? I'd rather not harm you. That would not be in the shaman's best interest. So I ask, judge for yourself. The miracle of my salvation. Ah! Huh? That's dirty! Give it back! Why? This has always belonged to us. I admit, I am intrigued as to how you were able to activate the catalyst. Although... I suppose it no longer matters at this point. With the primals in my possession, I've won. Strong cage. My powers are useless against it. Damn it! We didn't come this far to get put in timeout. There is still hope left. <sighs> Roland, you did this. Of course he did. And now even Vulcan Bola has fallen into Lilith's hands. I can't stall any longer. The fate of the skies calls upon the might of your crew. Will you fight to save it? Roland, I'm not sure if I like where this is going. Yeah. Tell us what this is all about. Of course. But first, your injuries need tending to. Let's return to the ship. The time to reveal the truth has come. Oh. 
Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempeel. Furikan. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber and stole their powers. Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. <laughs> the Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal, Angra Mainyo. I hope I'm wrong, but she plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this Mainyo thing? It's the primal beast of gateways, allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter. So in theory, one could even pass through to the Astral Realm. It doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the Astral Realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes. An extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zeka Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. At worst, most of the Sky Realm would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyo. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the astral realm give her away. <sighs> the astrals. The invaders who once ruled over our skies. Correct. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. Huh? Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. You knew a great deal about this Skydom, things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. Real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry, can't blame a guy for being on edge. <sighs> Is that? Those are obvious raptors. You're kidding! They really chased after us. They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now. Well, they're here. Less talking, more blasted! after we have saved our hearts. It seems 
whose conviction is a strong motivator. Well, when you got an astral yank in your chain. Obvious already making their next move. I must take action. Wait, I just want to be super sure. Are you really an astral? <sighs> you wouldn't be the first. We've met other astrals before. Loki and Mikaboshi, if those names ring a bell. They have their own particular philosophies. But you seem different from them. I know, right? It's like Fixit Dude actually wants to be a part of the Sky Realm. Indeed. It was no act when you risked life and limb to save the people of Folka and Tempil. I'll be honest. I once viewed Sky Dwellers as insignificant. But that all changed. Many years ago. The first friend I ever made in this world taught me a valuable lesson. They said there is strength in solidarity. Folka is now my home away. The people there. I like family to me. Skipping too fast there. Sadly, we experience longevity on different scales. If I were granted one wish, it'd be to stay with them forever. At the very least, I want them to be happy. I'll do anything I can as an astral to protect the populace, to protect the islands, and I'll stop Lilith. No matter the consequences, I must suffer. We understand how you feel. The Sky Realm is our home, too. So you can count on us. I guess even Astros come in all kinds of different flavors. Just like Sky Dwellers. The same can be said of Primal Beasts. Huh. <laughs> kind of weird having an Astral watching our backs for once. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry. I haven't been up front with you all. I suppose I was acting out of cowardice. I was afraid of your reactions if you learned I was an astral. We believe in you. <laughs> Captain. Thank you. <laughs> done and done. Yes. With Roland's aid, we'll surely stop Lilith and rescue Lyria. Angramanyu's real body is in an altar beneath Seed Hollow Castle. Yikes. There's a sinister primal lurking right under that huge city? Yes. And I'm the one who sealed it down there centuries ago. But if Lilith found Angra 15 years ago, that means the seal is... Broken. When she squandered away Angra's power, she failed to capture its true form as well. I'm certain it's still in the altar somewhere, camouflaged by its gateway powers. Uh, so that's why you stayed behind in Seed Hollow, to find the damn thing. Indeed. Unfortunately, my search turned up nothing. However, the moment Lilith summons Angra's real body, that may be our chance to strike. I warn you, she and I are equally matched. But, lucky for me, I've got the better team. Apia's no doubt getting closer to the castle. There's no time to lose. We'll gear up in the city and make a run for the altar. Or else these skies are done for. So, oh. Man, crap, it's really hitting the fan now, huh? We better hightail it back to Seed Hollow before it's too late. So, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug of war, decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear. But one thing is certain Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. And with all the good he's done here, 
His love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith, and ensure Angra Mainyu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm. Need back to Seed Hollow then. I'm sure, this is the uh, start of Mission Eight, Chapter Eight. So, if it is, we'll. Uh... Chapter eight. So what we're going to do is save it here. And, uh, that's that'll be chapter seven. Hope you burning. enjoyed it. Another if you did, leave us a like, subscribe. To return to the stars. Uh, it's up to you. Hope this you do. You know, be uh, helpful out to the channel. Like we appreciate it all as well. But, uh, yeah, end of the day, it's up to you. We do. The fate of the Sky Realm but, uh, itself. Let's go through this cutscene. We need to get to the heart we'll, uh, of the city. And fix the damage that's been done. So there we go, guys. Uh, no time to assess casualties. See you in the next one. Not when we.